When Krista and I filmed our beans on toast taste test video, we learned some interesting things about cutlery usage. So later that evening when we were eating dinner with our husbands, we compared how we all held our knives and forks and learned some very interesting things. So because this whole knife and fork usage was such a topic of interest, we decided to do a quick video and talk to you about how the four of us all hold our knives and forks while we eat. So see what we all do and tell us in the comments, what pattern of cutlery usage do you follow? And also, where are you from? Because we're trying to figure out the geographic differences. So show me how you hold your knife and fork when you're getting ready to eat. So your fork is in your right hand. Your my, knife. Yes, my fork's in my right hand like a barbarian. <laughs> and your, your, your knife is in your left hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then now we're gonna show how you cut the food. Okay, so cut the food. So you're, hold, you're continuing to hold. How does anybody even win this game? It's not a win, it's just different. Mm -hmm. There's no right or wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm maintaining that. Okay, so you stab your food, turn the fork upside down, oh, and. I, oh, oh, are we, hi, this is me eating quiche. <laughs> Okay, this is Ian with his knife in his left hand, his fork in his right hand. Okay, so now cut your food. So he's cutting with the tines down and then putting the food in his mouth. Tines down, keeping mm -hmm. the fork in his right hand and the knife in his left. This is Joel, and he holds his knife in his right hand, his fork in his left hand. Now, cut some food. Let's see how the cutting happens. The cutting happens like magic. <laughs> Saws with that, and now, uh, okay. So, now let's pretend that you, that pretend this is a steak. So, you're gonna cut that in several pieces. Cut the quiche, pretend it's a steak. You know, you're gonna cut it into several pieces. Okay, you get like four or five pieces there. Now, now how would you eat it? If this were a steak, mm -hmm. and I've just cut that, mm -hmm. I would probably put my knife here for just a moment. And switch hands. And switch hands. Put your fork and, like in scoopy mode, tines and, up. But I don't scoop because I actually don't want it to fall off. I want it to yes. be tiny. Right, and right. So then, I would enjoy it. Tines up. Okay. Thank you for your participation, Joel. Okay, I'm holding my knife in my right hand, my fork in my left hand. Then I'm cutting my food. I have to hold my knife in my right hand because I'm sawing and I'm right-handed. And then, okay, so I'm gonna cut up several pieces like I made Joel do. <laughs> and then sticking the fork tying down and putting it in my mouth. How do you feel about quiche in general? <laughs> How's your steak? Mm. I love that my steak tastes like quiche with cheese in it. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this little cutlery challenge. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment and check out this taste test video. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.